Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm, I know you're probably getting tired of these resin clocks, but I want to try one tonight that's going to have a colored background. Let me see who's in the chat. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Pam. Hello, Sally. And hello, Janice. Anyway, but first, I wanted to unmold this little guy. I can see already I'm going to have to clean up the edges a little bit because it. I tried to fill it all the way, and I think I got, I think it went over the edge. So I'm going to be clipping and sanding tomorrow. Let's see who else is here. And hello, Mona. Okay, I'm I'm absolutely loving these things are thick. These things are very thick. This took over 16 ounces of resin. <laughs> okay, I knew this was gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to sand that hole away a little bit. Yeah, it's it got covered. So anyway, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm trying to see if you can see it. Um, there you go. You can see the edges. I've got to fix them. But look at how thick this little baby is. So, I am thinking of having an auction in February of clocks and cutting boards. So, that one will probably be in there. Let's see. Hello, Tish. Tish number one. And hello, Melinda. I thought you'd be here, Melinda. Melinda and I were just on a video chat earlier. Okay, I'm using the Promarine resin. I'm only mixing up 12 ounces because I learned my lesson the other day um, with this. It, it sets up too fast. So if I have time to do the other one, I will. If not, I'll do it later tonight and I'll videotape it. Yes, I do too, Janice. I... I love them, and they're, they're just so cute. Okay, and I actually measured. This one holds 12 ounces, and this one holds 8 ounces. So I'm going to mix 12 for this one. This one's, this one's going to be in kind of red and pink. And I can't. There it is. My arm was blocking the my view of the line. Okay, yep, that's six. And and hail Jeff B. Nice to see you. I have a couple more videos I'm getting ready to put up on that wave technique. Melinda and I have been practicing and she's doing a lot better than I am. <laughs> but um my paints just turn out too thick is what it is. So I will try to do one or two more this week. I got two videos to edit and put up. Now this resin right here, for those of you who don't know, is a one-to-one -one ratio. Oh, Evelyn, I almost forgot where I put it at. Ha, there it is. Look what came today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I now got tequila, tequila gold. Yay. I wonder if it's got real tequila in it. <laughs> I doubt it. Okay, I'm looking at the clock to make sure I stir this for three minutes. Although Evelyn keeps track of me. And she'll tell me if I went over three minutes. <laughs> and I'm... No, I'm not, Melinda. No, I'm not. My paints are way, way too thick. Now, I'm going to do a pink colored background, and I'm going to do ATD Fireball for the red. It's a paste. And then I, got, I do have, let me see, is this it? Yeah, I do have a, I don't know if you can see it or not, I do have red and silver mixed in here together to make the center. 
Guess I better keep mixing, huh? Yes, it is, Cheryl. You guys are awesome. Well, I got some other gifts, too. A uh, couple of viewers bought me some paints. And I hope to use some of those paints this weekend. I just ordered um, $200 worth of uh, Amsterdam paints from a warehouse in California. Hello, Gina Bina. It's our favorite little Gina Bina. Thank you, Cheryl. Isn't Cheryl one of the best moderators around? Let's give Cheryl a round of applause. <laughs> I'm being silly now. You went to ATD and had a blast. What, you went to one, you went to visit them, Evelyn? I was out there uh, December of 2019 to see him, and I got to meet uh, Scarlett and uh, Carrie, and I got to meet uh, Kim, I want to say Kim uh, Belleville, K K Creative Escapades by Kim, I'm pretty sure that's the Kim I met. Thank you, Janice. You guys are so awesome, too. Oh, don't blush. Yes, she is, Mona, isn't she? <coughs> oh, they came to Florida. Okay, that looks like three minutes. So first, because I'm going to color this, I'm going to put a little bit in here for the red. I don't need a lot. Because that's what I'm going to draw my lines with. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of resin in here before I pour it out. Or I'll color it and pour it out. <gasps> oh, I think I put too much in. Fiddly D. Well, that just means my glitter is going to float all over the place. Let me mix this up real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a paste. It's not a paste. Oh, let me put a little bit more red in there. <laughs> and hello, Miss Tish. I know the feeling. I was mixing paint last night and today, too. Okay, there we go. Just put some more, just put some more red glitter in it. That should make everything good, right? Yeah, that's a paste now. That's going to be my center. Okay, let me mix this red real quick. You only need a tiny bit of paste. And hello, Patricia. I'm looking to see if I missed anybody. I think I got everybody so far. This is a really, really pretty red. This is ATD Fireball Red. I wonder where they got the name from. Ha, ha, ha. If any of you have ever been over to ATD, it's so cute when they get to drinking Fireball on their channel. Yeah, never too much glitter. And look, look at, look, Tisha's ears perked up. Someone say glitter? Glitter, glitter, glitter. <laughs> okay, let me mix this real quick. Make sure. Yeah, it's pretty opaque, but I don't know if this is going to fan out much like the white does okay but first I'm using color obsessions flamingo pink it is a tint it never gets I don't care how much you put in there it never gets trans uh, uh, opaque it will be translucent and but I don't want it too dark and a little goes a long way with this stuff. Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, there went one drop. For some reason, my little thingy's clogged. There's another drop. Come on. Uh. <laughs> 
I'm squeezing it, but nothing's coming out. And I know that's what he said. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me mix this up and see what it looks like. Let me see how how dark it got, if it got any dark. Because I wanted to see what a color would look like in a colored background. Yeah, this doesn't look, this does not look too dark. Yep, I know, don't squeeze too hard. And, and these bottles are leak, leak all over the place. You should have seen me when I opened them earlier to make sure I could get some out. Okay, here is my background. It's not going to be very dark. Up, 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 up. Oh, that's on the back, I think. Wait a minute. Fooey. Hang on a second. I got... No, well, it's glitter that's stuck, so it's just going to stay there. Now, because I measured it, it should go all the way to the top with this 12 ounces. I hope. Okay, there we go. Fortunately, my tray wasn't exactly clean, so some of the stuff you see might be on the bottom underneath the mold. Okay, you're done. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Okay, heat it up. I want to get rid of my air bubbles. And you never use a torch on these molds. I always use my heat gun. Low setting of the air, and which also gives you the low setting of the, of the uh, heat. And this has got an adjustment right here, too. And I turn it down some when I'm working with molds. Well, it's going to get more heat. It's going to get more heat. But first... I'm going to put my glitter in there. Okay. Let's see now. I want a big center because it's a big flower. Come on. It doesn't want to come off the stick. go there we go there we go now it's cooking now it's cooking and of course I made too much whoops let me get this close to the little there's a little thingy and a uh, little bump in there a little silicone bump that keeps it, well, I don't know what I'll do with the rest of the glitter. Okay, I'm going to mix this one more time. Who's, oh, hello, Mary Lou. Okay, mixed it. Get all this dark red down in there. I probably made too much of this too, but um, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Sally, look what came. I don't know if you can tell what it is or not. It's that cat in the moon mold that you never got from Wish, so I ordered one from AliExpress. And I'm going to put some of my extra uh, resin in there. Because I know I'll have something left. Oh, getting a little thick. So 
Sorry, I'm not reading the chat. I'm concentrating on my petals. I don't know how that one got so big over there. Oh, shoot. I see how it got big. I only did four. <laughs> okay, so this is a four-leaf red rose. How's that? <laughs> oh, well. I only did four. I didn't do five. <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me? See, not one person chat tap um not one person typed in the chat um five petals. Okay, that's okay. Four petals is fine. Uh, let me see. What do I want to do? Oh, I want to heat it up a little bit. And I may have enough time to do the other one, which is going to be done in blues. I've got a uh, Bonaire blue um, for, by uh, Color Obsession for the tint. And I've got blue diamond paste from um, Just Resin. And I get all of my, all of my uh, Color Obsession and Just Resin I get from... Um, um, ATD. So you would go to artisttilldeath.com. Two T's, two L's. It's A R A R T I S T T I L L D E A T H. There. It's always two T's, two L's. That that got instilled in my brain from Erica. Okay. Uh, let me see here. I'm gonna do one uh, one line going out since they're so big, and then I'm going to do two lines going, one, two, two lines, one on either side going in. Okay. One out. In. In. Oops, there we go. Out. In. In. It's still going to look pretty with four petals. Maybe that wasn't such a big screw-up after all. You know what? I don't think of it as a screw-up. It's just a different flower. Okay. Ah, I got some glitter trying to get loose. Let me corral that back in. I don't know where these little dots came from over here trying to pull them out okay okay I'm gonna mix more resin I've got time to do the other one so what I'm gonna do is let me see how far off camera it goes I'm going to put that over there and I'm gonna do the other one right here and I got a clean cup and I got a clean stick, and I'm going to be selling these sticks. Now, this one only takes eight ounces. So, let me get my hardener. I love it with the lines. Now, if I can just keep it from shifting. And I don't think I got my sticks under there, but I don't think. I don't know. if No. I, I think it's shifting because I poured it a little funny. Okay, I need four ounces of hardener. And I'm not buying Promarine anymore because it sets up too hard. Um, Tish number one, don't you have a coupon code for KS Resin? I did it one time, but very few people... Um, um, used it so I don't I don't even advertise it anymore. If uh, Naptime Creations has a coupon code, can you put it in the chat? And I'm gonna start putting it below my videos when I use uh, KS resin. And I'm gonna order some. Come on, there we go. This time I'm not gonna put as put as much resin in the glitter. As I did on the other one. 
Come on. Because I'm getting down to the bottom of these bottles. And I may not even scrape them out. I may just throw them away. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Is, is it nap time? No numbers? Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm going to stick with KS from now on, too, Evelyn. Okay, three minutes. You bought Diamond Coat from them? Okay, cool. I like the liquid. It's got the UV in it. I think it's $70 a gallon, and I love it that they ship for free. tacos well hello brookie cookie and hello mr j because i know if you're not in the chat you're looking over her shoulder <laughs> and hello little one and hello macaroni i don't see lisa here so i can't say hello to the rest of the doggies <laughs> i was talking with crystal last night on video chat and i got her little dog going she turned the ca turned the camera around and I was calling her dog by name, and I had the little doggy going. It was so cute. Oh, thanks, Tish, number one. Um, oh, my Amazon link. If you go to any of my Amazon links below, Sally, if you click on that link, it takes you to the Amazon, to the item, but you don't have to buy that item. Then just start searching around. Put what you want in the cart, check out, and I get a commission for it. So, oh, you said get food from. Um, Flow Troll, yes, I do have a link. I can send it to you. Um, but if you go through any of my links and just have my, have my link take you to the Amazon, and then anything you buy at that point will give me a, a little commission it's anywhere from one to three percent it's not much dish number two will tell you you need more flow troll huh i bought with that uh 15 off bag sale that menard had menards had i bought five four gallons thought i bought six but i only bought four and i already had a gallon and a half here So, let me tell you, I bought a lot. I'm watching the clock. And you know what I should do real quick before I forget? I'm going to put some of this red in here because it's not going to take much to fill this little kitty. I want to put this red in here before it sets up. I mean, if you don't like red, Sally, I can do another color another time. I just want to see how the mold works. So I wanted to put some resin in here. You kind of, oh, these little tiny molds with the, oh, that's right. I got to do the, the little catch up here too, the little um, hanger. I always overfill it. And then what I do is, is I just do this little scrape. And it looks like everything's in there. Yay! Okay. Sticky fingers. I need one more minute on this. Well, hello, Lee and Jeremy! Nice to see you, honey. Sorry, I, I didn't see you at first. I was over there trying to fill this one little mold real quick with some resin. So I could see what it looks like. Um, I bet you 10 to 1, Sally would prefer it in black, though. Right, Sally? Um, you guys have a uh, premiere tonight, don't you, Lee and Jeremy? I think you do. Okay. That's a minute. Okay, uh, blue glitter. 
Careful, don't get heavy handed with the glitter and the resin, right? Okay, let's see what kind of a paste that makes. Oh, no, 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 no. Not enough in there. Not enough in there. See, instead of getting heavy handed, I got short, shorted it. Didn't put enough in there. All I'm trying to do is make sure that all the glitter sticks to the resin. And there we go. I got a better paste. Okay, I need a little bit in this for my blue diamond. I'm going to teach Lee and Jeremy how to do resin one day. I'm going to get them going on resin. You know what? That looks like too much. This time, I'm going to do five petals on it. Okay. Here is the Color Obsessions Bonaire Blue, which is a tint like the uh, Flamingo Pink is. Um, it doesn't look pink on the camera, but it is pink, okay? Oh, my outside layer is already going in. I love that. Yep. Right after Tish is live, I will be over there, boys. Now, let me see if this dropper works any better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight should be enough. So like I told you, I don't care how much you put in there. This stuff never becomes opaque. If I can see some of it sticking. And it's sticking to the stick. See, it's a little darker than the pink, but it's still not opaque. Okay. Put my blue in. It's a lot darker than the pink. I may not have put as much of the pink in there, but like I said, it's a tint. It's translucent. I love that. You can see right through it. Okay, come on. And gently, not forcing it, you gently push it up to the edge. You don't want to scratch your mold. See, this is this stick has got silicone on it. I know. I need to get some more of these made so I can start selling them. Because these sticks are so great with resin and acrylics. Because the paint and resin come right off of it. I'll show you. You take a... Rag with alcohol, 91% alcohol, and ta-da, there you go. No little bits of resin. Okay, uh, let me put this in first. Anybody new come in? <laughs> well, I think we could do it on a video chat. Um, via Facebook one day. I'm getting ready to um, do that. Well, not during the cold. Um, I'm getting ready to um, teach Fiona resin. I mean, she's done, done resin by coating stuff, but I'm going to teach her how to do art with resin. Okay, come on. Over here, guys. Over here. Let's join up with the rest of them. Flatten you out a little bit. Now see this time, because I and I was that's what I why I put the glitter in there first. Well, because I also didn't want to fool with it with my gloved hands. I forgot to hit it with heat first. 
So let's get rid of some air bubbles. Hello, Sam. Okay. You know, Lee and Jeremy, this right here would be something good for y'all to start with with molds. Because it's kind of easy to easier to do these than it is to do it on a uh, like a cradle board. And you can get some really, really pretty stuff doing this. Okay. There's my blue. Oh, there he is. I knew, I knew that if I saw Massey Art Studio, I'd see Jeremy's name in there too. <laughs> Come on. See what happens when you get resin all over your gloves? Ugh. That's still, it's look, that's looking pretty for being a four, four petal flower. <laughs> you guys missed that. I wasn't counting and I only did four petals, so I had to keep going with four petals. Come on. Oh. It's hard to get a grip on it when you got sticky gloves. Okay, I need a clean stick. This is the Blue Diamond by Just Resin. You get it over at ATD's shop. They are your one-stop shop for everything resin. The only thing they don't sell is micas and... I have all my mic. I have my my link and my discount code listed down below for Eye Candy Customs. Okay, but for some reason you can't use micas doing this technique. Oh, look! Look! Look at that! Look at that glitter! Look at that glitter spreading out! Come on, guys! Back! 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> and then I just got a big glob of it over there. Okay. Let me mix up my blue. This is blue diamond. It's a paste. It's all, it's a luster paste is what I like about it. Let's see. Everybody's still saying hi. The ancient, oh, yeah, my glitter is going everywhere, Brooke. See, you got to remember, there's going to be a clock movement behind it. So that's why I put a little bit bigger of the glitter in there than I do um, on the small ones. Well, it's a bigger piece, too. Okay. I got this all mixed up. I'll show you real quick what it looks like. It's a... It's called it's called blue diamond. It's kind of got kind of got a little bit of a green tinge to it. Okay. You make your little point. Okay, five petals. Start with five and then I'll end with five. So come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, too thick of a line. Two, three, four, five. Yay! I remembered. There we go. I can count to five. Tell your daughter that, Brooke. Tell her that I, I could only count to four earlier. I'm still gonna draw lines through it. I love, I love what those lines do to these petals. Okay, one more go around. Don't want to get too close to the edge. It just doesn't look right when it gets close to the edge. And I always bring the last one to back towards the center. Yeah, I got a little bit of resin left in there, but I don't have another mold handy, so it's just going to stay in there. Okay. Gonna hit it with my heat gun. <laughs> so proud of me, Mary Lou. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Brooke, she's gonna wonder. 
Why is that older lady not able to count to five? Well, it's it's because I'm an older lady and I just forgot to count to five. <laughs> Get rid of my little air bubbles. Okay. Yeah, you know, I think when I do do an auction next month, I think these are going to go in the auction along with uh, some coasters I've been doing with flowers. Okay, one in the middle, in. Same way that, um, well, really, I should have a rag handy. Same way that Fiona does when she's drawing her petals on her uh, cup bottom pour reverse dip flowers except I do three lines because my petals are so much bigger okay did my one each in the center now I'm gonna draw it out oh I did it the other way okay well you know it doesn't matter it's all the same it's all the same I'm, I'm doing it the exact opposite of what I did on the other one. Oh well they all don't need to look alike anyway, do they? I know Tish number two hates matchy matchy. Okay, and there we go. I managed to get both of them done. Okay. No, I don't want to put it in a piping bag. I have some. I don't like them. I like it. I like it. It. I feel like I have more control with the, with the pinch cup, than I do, with the bag. Okay. And this is turning out really cute over here, Sally. So I hope you like it. Um, I mean, I'll show it to you. I need to get over to your house. I got like a, about 40, 40 little bottles of paint in a box for you. No, not a caulking gun. That that doesn't work. Thank you, Mary Lou. Um anyway, thank you, Melinda. Well, yeah, she does it for her flowers, but she's also got See, she's not as she's new to resin. She also has to let it heat up. I don't have to do that. It doesn't need to heat up in the cup. It doesn't need to heat up in the bag. It's fine the way it is. Um, yeah, eventually all the lines will fade in. See how it's already fading out a little bit? And this one even is starting to fade out a little bit. So, uh, Oh, uh, well, yeah, Tish. Yeah, you, you, you're you a cake decorator. You would do better with them. I just don't like doing cups. I mean, um, bags. I, I, I got used to doing cups. I actually took a course in these flowers. I'm not really showing you a lot from the course. It just got me into the mindset of doing certain things different way, you know, certain ways. And so if you ever see somebody do it with a, with a, with a cup, pinched that's the way it's going to be so in 22 minutes we have miss tish she's testing did you put your um did you put your link for your live up tishy uh tishy poo and um oh look at that cool a massy art auction Oh, you do, Jeff? Thank you. Oh, you put it up. Okay, thank you. Um, so listen, um, we're all going to go over to Tish's. And we're going to uh, invade her channel and watch her experiment. And then after that, we're going to go over and hopefully Massey Art Studio will still be premiering. And we're going to go over there and invade their channel. Thank you, Mary Lou. I, I, I'm, 
I'm pretty happy with these. Except for this one part. But flowers are not perfect in nature, so they're not going to be perfect here. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Doris, there you go. Okay, everybody, when we go over to Tish's, type in the hashtag Doris Raid. That means you came from here to go over there. And then when we go from Tish's to Massey Art Studio, use the hashtag Haven Tribe, right? So anyway, um, oh, that is so cool, Tish. I can't wait to see it. So um, for those of you watching the replay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button up here. Hit the little bell for the notifications. That way you'll know when I go live. But I got a pretty good schedule for my lives every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central and every Sunday at um, 12 noon. And I always do a giveaway. Oh, Y'all want to see what the giveaway is this Sunday? <laughs> a set of four Oops, glare. A set of four color shifts. One lucky person for just the cost of shipping is going to get these. I might even pick up some more tomorrow when I go out Tate shopping. Um, so, and hit the subscribe button for those of you that are watching the replay. Don't forget to check out this video up here and this video down here. I love the resin right out of you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I guess all I can say is, bye for now.